appearance here regardless. Yeah. And, you know, you can, you can imagine that Phase A, because they want to try and solidify their map pool as this squad, uh, have gone back and, like, addressed some of these problems. But on top of that, I think, you know, with that little soundbite coming out, uh, that, that they didn't have anything anti-strap prepared for, for a team like Big on Dust, I feel like that would really make you double down on this map, right, in case any teams try and use that against you. OG, slow play in through the lower tunnels to open this up. Right now, it is just silence all across the map. Yeah, something real gross could happen here. Now, Lexi B with the smoke, the double flash, it's going to be not into play just yet, but Catwalk starting to get conceded every second. A flash coming out from Olaf. That's going to be a response. It's going to be a swing Ooh. here from Rain. He's not good for any oh, of them. Dear. But a TK comes through, and MBK is going to be sitting out the rest of this round. Three on four. Yeah, that's scary for FaZe. Right? The first peak, they see one player on Xbox. The second, they see three with the bomb as well. So they comes in late, but they back up from it. OG not in a rush in this pistol round. With a man advantage, they wait for FaZe to react. FaZe was scared of B anyway, right? With that Xbox smoke coming through, but no one taking Cat, and now they have reason to be oh as this rotate has come back. Very loud, OG running through upper. Kiebi on a rotate has a flash if he wants to pop Cold into a peak, but he might get blinded from B anyway. Cold is stuck behind the boxes. Good flashbang at least. Can Cold make anything of it though? Valdi's pushed in deep, and Cold can't find the killing mm. blow. Alexi runs him down, and Issa finds another. Looking like a good round for OG here as Issa finds three, and the team kill doesn't door. It's a running him down from the tunnels and yeah, OG. I, I expect a lot here in, in a map like this. They've beat Navi in back to back BO3s on this 16 to 9 both times. And so, pretty damn good Dust 2 team as inconsistent as Navi can be. OG also fall into that parameter. Phase leaning B in their force by round. And OG just taking things nice and slow. Two words here, Hugo. Cat jam. It's been a while since I've said those words, but boy, do they feel good. Yeah. Roji, they've got the opportunity to drop a smoke here on the hinge. And there it is. That's going to give them access up to the catwalk. Cole's there spamming it in anticipation, but no one's there to receive the bullets. Now brokey has got to give his undivided attention to catwalk. It's vulnerability right now for FaZe. We've got two players towards long and just little Brokey with that big mustache. And there he goes. He gets a tag on the Issa, backs off into the site. The call's been made now. Hey, guys, um, got some company over here on Catwalk. Got some friends on B. Didn't really invite them over. Ooh. Nice shot from Rain. It's a little bit of pep in the step of phase, but ultimately those long players out of the round and useless right now. Bomb's going to get planted from Alexi B. It's planted for short. Phase with head armor. It would be a bit of a miracle to crack this round back open. Olaf It's not giving up just yet. He's worked his way up long, gets the cross, and now all these players coming from CT. It's been a bit of a trade battle. Flurry back Ooh. and forth. Cold Zero with two, and now just one standing between him and the defuse. No kit, so he's got to make the best of his time. Picks up a Khalil. Oh. All day, no matter how low he was. Just two HP is how he'll exit the round with OG picking it up. Cold, he would have had that if he didn't tap. That's just very bad timing, right? He gets swung as he taps the bomb. But even though he gets off and, and gets one bullet in, two bullets, that would have been a round. And FaZe didn't have kits. I never thought there'd be a way to get back into that. But very, very close try from Cold. Two HP. Scary stuff. And two rounds for OG. All in all, though, that's a good uh, that's a good force buy in the second round for FaZe. You know, they, they bring it down to just one player surviving and cold right. as Eagle. I mean, he has delivered us some fantastic Deeg moments on Dust, has Cold Zera. Yep. And in this round now, Kirby, a man who didn't really have anything here, has now been upgraded onto an AK thanks to that one Deeg to open it up. Now, this should still get locked in for OG as they do make quick mm. work of the A-hold. And if you're Kirby, you're already focusing on saving. So yeah, any hope of winning this is out the window. But once again, a tiny bit of damage done. And actually, I say a tiny bit of damage. You take out the, one of the two AKs that were in this round for OG. And if you're able to hold on to that as well, then that's just, that's just great. OG up to three as they do find the pistol, the two conversions on the back of it. Well, a round loss for FaZe. KRB takes the AK into the next round. AWP 
with a quickness in Brokey's hands. Now, Coltair is showing us some brilliance with the Deagle. It's not enough to turn the tide just yet. Let's see what these guns bring out for FaZe. <laughs> well, flashes be bright, man. Fast out long, Orbs here, very close, but no connection for Brokey. Olos has been fast catted and he's going to take down Alexi on the corner. OG do have that long control with all four players here, but Brokey still sort of trapped. The Flash actually buys Mantu the position to pit, but he doesn't get the info on the cross. The Molly will land, Brokey can back up. Does he want to try and stay here while he can? Oh, they don't know. This is gone, trying to peek the car. Brokey with a flick, and that is unreal. Going to get Flash back in as well. Mantu does find a smoke shot to Olaf. No idea how he what? hits that, but the bait peek from Valde gets punished. Brokey. Hey. That is that is just disgusting. It wasn't fair. It didn't seem fair. Of course, the Molotov a little shy from where Brokey was. He's able to retain that car position. And with the AWP, he's just so fast. It's like a house of cards just fell right on itself. Brokey doesn't even see Issa right here. He's flicks. Oh. That last <laughs> shot, man. That's unbelievable. Oh, it's so ugly, man. I just don't get it. Just How's he chilling. managed to do that? Oh, Like that. Brokey Escobar. And now you see, like, why losing so many players in that second round has really come back to hurt OG, like, right away. You know, they run, like, an attempt at a bonus round there. It leaves them with really not much to bring to the table here and now. Flashing through mid, rain, good for one, helped out by cold. And this mid hold has looked good for FaZe, leaving them in the advantage. And it looked like this was going to be a B split for OG, but on the back of, you know, that split part not really happening. They don't just want to rush in through the B tunnel. So they have to think outside the box now. And that might require going up over the box onto the catwalk. Now it looks to be one of these cat to A plays. And they do have the utility to make that happen. Look who's here though, Harry. Oh, it's Big that brokey, brokey guy again. Everywhere oh, they go. Everywhere they go. He's always at the car. So I guess as long as they keep going A, he's everywhere they go. Look at him. It's a beast smoke. But that ain't fooling no one. Could drop the SMG into the spawn here, but you really don't have a lot of numbers to play with. MBK does go down. With that meant to be smoke, he's you know, been given a, a chance to run up the ramp now. Brokey, close peak. Oh, he was so ready for it. He's going to try and get away. Luckily, it's only a max, so it can't take him down on the retreat. MBK does get tagged, and Brokey back in with a shot. Valdez gone. Bomb planted. OG back up. But they can't go far. It's a safe plant, not for the catwalk. Someone's got to stay on the site or Gandalf. This is a very difficult round for OG. Yeah, one for MBK is good. And Ooh, there's the follow-up okay. for Mansu. Brokey going over with the AWP, but just oh. misses the timing to MBK. Cold oh, cut what? down, and somehow this oh, goes in boy. favor of OG. That was a two on four in the post plus and a kit on Kirby, but that is the only kit in this round. Mansu now donning the AWP as well, and that's a scary thing to run into. Luckily enough, Brokey has been looking real good. So that's gonna be a pretty exciting head-to-head -to, -head to get to watch. Don't really see much of these AWP battles on Inferno, which was the first map in the in this series. And so now we have like our first real test of the AWPers going blow for blow up against one another. Yeah, to put a number on that, it was two to three in favor of Man 2 versus Brokey in terms of Jules last map. In terms of AWP Jules, it was two to one in favor of Brokey over Man 2. So not that many indeed, but this is certainly a map where that could change. Brokey's posted on long glass. And OG going back for it late as well with the tucked player of Olaf. Could be a good setup here for FaZe Clan. Brokey just needs to draw the attention, right? And maybe they discount this corner. Maybe they don't think Olaf is here. Oh dear. Olof's going to molly on Brokey's shot. It actually comes through early, and MBK runs into the AWP. And now they've got to double back. They can't commit to that position. Cat can get taken, but Brokey is already here, already ready and waiting. And this one is pretty telegraphed. FaZe know what's going on. Unless OG duck into a, a desperate mid-to-B play, 
Faye's going to be stacked and armed and ready on this A site. Yeah, 20 seconds left on the clock, too. So for OG, the decision's been made. It's going to be Catwalk as the port of call. Brokey with the answer. Oh, not again. Brokey in with the triple. And just like that, this round should be laid to rest. Mantu trying to get out of there. Oh, oh, <laughs> Runs into Kirby, and that's the AWP saved as a treat, man. Like, you know, you've got a lot of brain power here and a lot of, uh, a lot of star power as well. I feel like, you know, we, we've had some great moments from guys like Issa, right? Getting that, uh, getting the ace. And we just want to see more out of guys like Mantu, right? Because as mentioned, over on Inferno can be tricky for him on that AWP. There's even more time to see that here and now. Attempt at the mid to be, but Brokey there, ready and waiting. MBK, he's hating Brokey right now. Everywhere he goes, Brokey's <laughs> there to take him out the round early. He's there again, what the hell? <laughs> Leave me alone, Brokey. Just hounded him down, man, every single time. They get up over towards Cat once again, but the problem is FaZe have been very, very proactive with this mid info. They've always been snatching that away, and now they even spot Alexa B going up Cat. So at this point in time, if you're FaZe, you're like, are they going to go Cat? Well, they've gone Cat near enough every single right. time, and this round oh. is no different. It yeah. is a shutdown. Cole with three. Three on the board for FaZe, and they deal with that eco round very, very cleanly. It never even gets close. Doesn't get out of hand. Everything's kept all cool. Yeah, the run boost looks cool until it isn't. Uh-oh. Nathan has had enough of Brokey's nonsense. Not sure. Hey, Nathan, we got to play the round here, bud. <laughs> we kind of need you there at the PC. Now, you know, that's the beautiful thing about being first to die. If you do want to have just a moment away from the screen, you, you can do that. Yeah, that's why I feed all the time. Oh. <laughs> Last that long for OG. Damage done through this smoke and Valdi. He can take a break too. MBK might be joining him as Olaf swings the smoke. And that's a five on three for FaZe. Already a strong start to this rifle round. And he's on a scout as well, so it's far, uh, far, far from a perfect buy for OG. Hucked inside a B is cold and Kier B. And uh, just to be clear, that's far, far, far from a perfect buy uh, there. Almost like the, oh man, what's the thing that giants say? Fifi, faux fum, that's the one. Yeah, which beanstalk did you come from, Harry? Oh man. Must have been a slightly hint of red on that bean. <laughs> yeah, it was like a kidney bean stalk. Yeah. You're like a human being. <laughs> Out through mid go OG. And Rain's looking to give them the beans here with the smoke push. He goes through and Kirby and Cold steal them away. Poor Rain, man. That was about to be a sick little sequence, but he'll take it nonetheless. Four to four. We're all tied up. And no money once again for OG. It's not often that you see a T-side economy bullied around this way, but that's because, you know, OG get off to a good start and things were looking up for them. Then we've had this resurgence from FaZe, and now finally that loss bonus is starting to build up, but you don't get the benefit of that just yet, right? You've got to long this out a little bit longer if you're OG before you're at that kind of buy every round uh, uh, waypoint, I guess. Here comes Brokey. Ready to continue to be that menace for OG. Ecos are just so dead on this map, though. Like, you you know, what can you do if you're OG here? You got a flash on Alexi, you got pistols. Listen, Eek sometimes can get picks. Just because you two hate Dust 2. Yes. Doesn't mean it's a dead map. Uh, okay, let's do it this way. Hugo, yes. what map do you take out of the pool right now to reinvigorate? Uh, Dust Mirage. Two. Not no, Dust well, two. conflicting. Dust two. Mirage. Mirage is more varied in pro play, Hugo. Yeah, I get, actually, I agree. I, yeah, you can, you can sell me on that one. I don't care. Either of them, really. Just I, At this point, you could take anything out, and I'd be I'd just be glad that we've got a something fresh, something new. A Let's put map. Icebox in. Let's go. <laughs> Ice ah. order over. OG setting up for the cat play, and they might be going home in an ice box at the end of this one. Rain with the triple, and there's the lockdown at long. It's another clean anti-eco. And, you know, while these aren't like the most exciting rounds to watch, it is good that they are remaining this clean. Because, like, so often, you go in up against an anti-eco, you lose a player, it's like, oh, it's no big deal, but then that rifle's picked up, and then all it takes is, like, one more kill to come in, and it gets a bit dicey. And it's like, even if you're winning the rounds, you might still be losing players, and that does hell of a lot to CT money. And on a map like Dust, where orps reign king, and you're always putting a very, very big chunk of investment into them, you need that money. And so keeping these flawless anti-ecos has set phase up really well Ooh. for the rest of this half. Now, that's a nice little tag from Mantu there. 
on cold crossing mid. But OG have their sights set at long. And Olaf, while he hasn't been challenged here all too much, this round is going to be a real big challenge. Uh-oh. Are they going to go through that? Oh, the flash hits them, though. It pops through the doors. It slows them down. But Olaf does get blinded. And that's the result that OG wanted and really needed at this point in the game. They're out long, Cold's low, Brokey boosted into the site. How are they lining up? Something or other, maybe that Cat Molotov, but no, it's towards the car instead over the roof. Double B push for FaZe. They know it's long and they're just confirming it by taking tunnels and Alexi is still watching for that mid rotate as well. He's gonna smoke Xbox. He won't hang around for long, goes late to join his teammates. And that's a scary situation, right? Because FaZe now don't know if someone's up catwalk because of that smoke. They may have lower, but they've now got to watch their back as well. And that's left only one player to look at long. They clear it out, though, and Brokey goes back into the orb. Mantu finally winning that head-to-head. -head. Rain in the smoke, and MBK jumps into him. Five on two. This is an OG round, whether you like it or not. And I like that little late round cat smoke because even though phase pretty quickly realize it's a fake it pulls them away for just enough time that og get deep up long yeah this one's pretty much sealed and shut for og they're gonna bring us up to five five And that's like a big round to have five alive in as well, right? Like, look at the money of OG. If you win a round like this, but you lose three or four players, suddenly you're forcing Galils. You might have a scout. You might have a Mac 10. And so OG, they need everything into that follow-up round to actually keep this economy because FaZe have built up a good bank on this CT side with a streak imminently, or just, I guess, for as long as the decoy, decoy blows expires. up. But yeah. you can keep replenishing the that decoy. That is very keep interesting. training, yeah. please. Because, it, yeah. I, mm, cool. Didn't know that. Like, I, I saw it once, but years ago, I just never assumed that that would stay Whoa. the same. And to opening kill and onto Brokey of all people as well. Very important frag. Olaf does get the orb out of uh, harm's way, but OG back to this long take. And this time, actually, with the cat split, they go through the Molotov into Rain, who's ready for it. Oh, turns from that flash, and Alexi spams him through the smoke. Olaf. Back on the AWP, it's been some time, oh, and dear. no more time at that. The Valde going up and over, makes quick work of him. Kierby on the short flank, but Alexi's turned around to keep an eye on it. Kierby will win that fight out. Now Mantu with the AWP, he's watching from long, and the bomb is planted for him. So keeping utility up here is a must for FaZe if they want to be able to win this round. Hold sneaking in. Through CT, Valder waits over at Gandalf, and he just saw him. They get the info. Kierby now wants to try and get this kill, but Valder has repositioned, and they don't know about oh. it. Cold, now aware that this man's back in the site. However, Valder wins his fight onto Kierby. Cold's wrapping up, but he's already used that smoke, wow. and that's going to cost him dear, dearly. Valder with the outmaneuver as well. Three in the round to put six on the board for OG. And they now find themselves back in the lead. Valdet playing that so damn well. And honestly, even if he'd fallen there with no utility left on Cold Zeret, that would have been an OG round thanks to the long post plant and Mantu being there with the AWP in hand. Yeah, that was just so good, right? From moving out of Gandalf the second he gets spotted, even though he gives away his position on Cold's jump, missing that shot, perfect pivot round the boxes, not letting FaZe find anything. That's going to be OG taking the lead right back on their map pick. All started with a long pick from Mantu as well. He's found a couple of uh, key opening kills off this AWP. He's beaten Brokey in back-to-back -back A plays. And that that is all the difference, right? It was Brokey lighting up the scoreboard at the start of this map to get phase to five. So if he can keep that up, it could be the answer to OG building a pretty he uh, heavy T side on this map. They're going to take B by the looks of things. Lots of players going there early. The smoke gone out, and they've got to stall it for a little bit longer. In this round, Brokey was posted long with Olaf again, but he's going to back out pretty early, and Olaf in harm's way inside of that smoke needs to back up as well. Very low after the nade. will survive on the cross out. Could be anywhere now. And Brokey waiting on the smoke as Valdic... Wait, the smoke goes through the floor. It goes down. That's, oh, you rarely see that, but that is a weird bug. Might not matter here. Valdi's going to play passive enough that it doesn't. But yeah, sometimes things fall through the floor. 
Just like in real life, man. Yeah. That's like almost like a one way that you can peer over as well. It's kind of scary. But nah, it doesn't matter. It doesn't play into the round at all. Kiabi could be in a bit of danger here. Not keeping his eye on the tunnel. And that is where OG have the majority of players that they look to move in to a mid to B play. That smoke going to draw his attention back. Cole moving in to try and join him. Ooh. Kiabi playing close to the smoke. Leaving Rain to hold on to mid. Oh, man. He's up. First man in. Has the rest of the squad moving in behind him. Barrel. Kirby doesn't see the guns in the way. And Savalda there for the trade. Rain cut down in middle. It's going to fall to Cold Zera. He has to deliver. Trapped at the car. Good for one. And a bit more damage, but that is it. His tail draws to a close over towards B. And Olaf, maybe if he gets his kill, that might entice FaZe back in for a retake. When it was two on three, it was never going to happen. But now they're interested. Now there might be a chance. It's the lack of kit that's going to come back to hurt FaZe. There is one dropped inside of the site. And providing they know about that, then they might be all good here. MBK down at the car, but Olaf seems very suspicious. He does not believe it. Mantu at the back of the site is good for the kill, and MBK never spotted. The AWP dropped down in bottom mid, and for Brokey, this is just going to be that save. Yeah, there's no way back into this one. No way at all. He's going to hear these OG players retreating. Brokey's going to do the same. We're going to see OG go up to seven. Eye for phase. Just joining us, your opportunity is now to join the IM.GG fan cams. That's im.gg slash fan cam. Now, also, I'll just remind you of the matchup that we have coming up after FaZe versus OG. It's going to be Liquid taking on the Rugrats. And no, I don't mean like Phil, Lil, Chucky, Angelica, Tommy. No, 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 no. They'll be there too, though. Yes. They'll be joining us on the desk, actually, I think, for live commentary. BK out in front of this smoke. He's going to take down Rain. Now... Triple upper push for FaZe. That leaves Olaf to his own devices over here on Catwalk. Op and Brokey's hands. Two deagles in play. Not a kit in sight. And not a round either for FaZe, right? Like, they should already be focusing on this AWP in a few seconds when that bomb gets planted. Trying to get this out of harm's way, but this is waiting in the top of the middle. Dinked on the immediate peak. Nice stuff from Cold and Kirby to take him down, but... Yeah, a couple of guns given over, and, and you just want to get out of here alive if your phase not a winnable round by any means of the word. Although, Ooh. kills get offered up, you'll take that every time. And I think you kind of solidify that when you when you get the kill onto Alexa B. You know, you you, you find him, and suddenly it's like a two on three for OG. That's that's yeah, the coolest. The if you don't hunting. throw, yeah, right. right? Yeah, and yeah. it's like you know we don't want to go and send one more guy out on the search party. He dies, and then we give a two on two over. So Brokey kind of knows that he solidified that that passive, you know, just holding of the bomb by getting that kill. Eight on the board regardless. This is a very, very good T side for OG. And now we have the first real chance in a little while for FaZe to try and bounce back into it. Yeah, kill distribution on point for OG. Anthu takes his off out long. He's going to be that head scout towards the long A area. Bomb over there towards B for the time being. Just a little bit of a default set up here, if you will. What's FaZe's solution, though? Lots of A splits have happened for OG. They've thrown in the occasional successful B play. Other than FaZe winning some of the early rifle rounds, it's been pretty quiet. Four in a row for OG. So trying something new, getting a lurk out mid. Alexi B is in the cubby. FaZe are cycling util towards that B bomb site, and Rain is coming for support to allow Cole to watch upper as well. Rain, in a nice angle, you can see the feet before the body, so you have a bit of forewarning. And your opponents are pushing, and it will be that mid to B play again, mainly just the upper push. Cole coming back to middle. Alexi B has not moved a muscle. He is waiting for those rotations. And that requires OG to actually be successful on the entries into B in order for any to get given to Alexi. But luckily, there's only one man in B with Cold assisting in middle. He's got to pick his spot, though, reaching the point where OG are about to commit. MBK doubling back off of Cat after sh shedding some utility and Kiabi with a long range fight. Alexi does die on that lug, but MBK is still here and they're gonna be ready for it. Triple B and nice entries for OG. They obliterate the defense. Rain does get one, but he doesn't wanna hang around knowing that 
that cat player is still up. MBK has joined them in tunnels, and OG, that smoke goes very deep. It bounces out the doors, and Rain could stop the cross, but the flashes allow the bomb to go down, and now it's a retake round for FaZe. Yeah, this time they have kids. They've got flashes, right? They've got something to make this retake happen. MBK back here again. A slime ball man, always in this position, and they seem so aware that this is what he likes to do. Flash Ooh, in, Issa. Early. Gets Rain going ahead of the flash. And now for Brokey and Olaf, it might have to be a save. Oh, that's, that's a, a lot of damage. Yeah. <laughs> I think both players surprised at the fact that the others return in fire. Oh, MBK hunting and he takes the All AWP right. away. Olaf has to go back for that if he wants to take it out of the round. And OG aren't going to let him. Yeah, they've got it under lock and key. OG, nine, phase five. Look at the last round of the first half of play here on Dust2. Yeah, just some really like methodical rounds for OG, right? Where they have the game plan out of spawn and they just set up default and they wait out the phase util. They're not going for these like spawn rushes into B that can get obliterated by well-placed util. They're waiting uh, and, until the last 30 seconds of the round and then they're just committing with their, their plan from the offset. These B plays have been clear out of spawn and it's just phase not knowing enough to, to rotate heavy. Even though they kind of knew what was going on, MBK does a good job of faking Cat and then backing into B safely instead of offering up a kill on the Lurk. And yeah, FaZe never really advantaged on any of these retakes. Only three on threes, two on twos that they can't close out. OG looking for double digits to the end of the half. And with how they've been playing, there's not much in their way. Double AWP though, Cold doesn't have armor. Yeah, someone's got to be a savior here for FaZe. Someone's got to have a multi-kill because we've really not had anyone like shining in these uh, past few rounds, the anchor's barely able to get, uh, barely e even able to get one. Same again. It's going to be a late B split. Yeah, the numbers are there in upper. Bomb's going to be joining OG. Molotov fades. They start to. Slide their way on into this B site. KRB playing up close. Now's the time to shine. It might be that multi-kill you're looking for, Hugo. KRB lines up two, Ooh. gets a third. They're going to keep feeding him. He switches to CZ. Cold Zera is able to help him out. A little bit of a helping hand, nice. and that's going to be the round. Nine to six. Love Rain having some flashes of brilliance towards the A site too, but right now they find themselves in a three-round deficit at the Intel Extreme Masters. It's going to be a quick, long play here from FaZe. They're going out in numbers. Five deep, bomb, everything. Kit and Caboodle, man, too, with the mid-push. Yeah, I like this vibe already for OG, right? Not falling for the trickery, not letting FaZe do what they want to do, and setting up flanks early into this half. Now he's getting spammed for two damage. Does peek with a flash and get one, but here's that flank for Mantu that could be the killing blow. No, Cold is ready for it. That's a good reaction for FaZe, not falling for the treacherous ways of OG. Cross smokes are in, two players here, but blinded off is Alexi. And this is on the site as well. He's been spotted to phase double back. They don't want to walk into the two-man setup, and MBK misses that timing on the mid-spot. But he is also ready for B, and there before they are. Alexi coming in with a kit as well, and Olaf keeping up the pressure in mid. Actually keeps MBK out of the site. It's only because he wants to retake and not die inside on his own versus three, but Alexi B uh. doesn't have a say in the matter. And with that kit picked up, OG might just have to retake a two on four. Oh man, this hasn't gone well for OG at all. Four on two, MBK on nine HP. Not a whole lot to work with here. Go on, Brokey. You know you want to peek it. Every window player does. He has peeked it. No one's home, though. He goes towards CT spawn. It's uh, waiting on him. And that's going to be the end of that P250. Ooh. Oh. <laughs> the flick. Look really like MBKs, but the jump. Well, the jump just adds, like, style points to it, right? Yeah. And it means you're not just going to get one tapped, right, on the, on the run past. Oh, boy. Brutal for FaZe. That's a nice start. I, yeah, I had confidence in OG in this map. They they showed up on the T side. They put up a really good uh, first half, but a scary start with FaZe reading them like a book in that pistol round, right? Cold is so ready for the flank of Mantu. They don't even commit to the long take. They double back into B. Alexa B, I feel you, man. He gets just domed on the B entry. I feel you, man. I will scout out.
Two scouts here for OG. Mantu and MBK donning those. Some upgraded pistols there to their left and right. Ooh. Nade lands on top of KRB, brings him down to 48 HP. Here's Mantu playing off Cat, takes a shot, falls off. That starts to open this door and perhaps a can of worms for the side of OG. He's just bleeding down the time. Yeah, they're trying to see if OG do anything silly. Olos holding upper, just crunching middle. Now, re cat play for Alexi could get a lot of info here, but he's actually going to get smoked off by his teammate, and FaZe just ducking to a mid to be now. There's no one here to stop it. Alexi's going to realize, but it's too little, too late. FaZe have already set their sights on B and MBK with just a scout. He's going to have to put up one hell of a hold. Oh, that's a beautiful oh, shot. Kiemi dies through the spawn smoke as well. How is this falling apart? Now, two on five, certainly doable for FaZe, but they are getting rushed by OG up middle. Yeah, look at this. The retake is there. The quickness, the speed for OG. That's what they have in their oh. pocket right now. Flash going to thwart off, pull off Meister from holding the tunnels. Meanwhile, the MAC-10 uh. doing what it has to do towards the door, just barely. Oh. And somehow, oh. eventually does fall. Cold Zera closes the round out. That one got way too close for comfort for FaZe. Two on five. Two on five. Iss is getting blocked in the doors as well. He's trying to jiggle with this scout. He's, he's not wanting to commit, and he gets trapped in the fight. Force into the pistol. That's a great shot by MBK as well, but it's all in vain. It's all for nothing. Damage and nothing more. It's nuts that after getting betrayed by that first flash in through the tunnels, Olaf stares down at the fake flash that was actually yeah. a decoy in the doors. Oh. When I saw that go in, I'm like, man, he's dead. He's blind. And then and it even for me, but now nah, he just holds the line with the Mac 10, reaps the reward, and didn't yeah. really have any other no. option, yeah. right? Where's he gonna look? <laughs> Oh, even like the Mac 10 did most of the heavy lifting no. for him there. The USP delivering. Three from Cold as well. Nice stuff from him. And yeah, I mean, that's just a ridiculous round. And it's one that OG are going to come to regret as they're sat on USPs. See, Dust 2 is always a pretty slow map. But I think like one thing that, that's very, very apparent already is that, you know, whenever we used to watch old phase back when Nico was in this squad, is it felt like they played very, very slowly on these T sites, right? And based on what we saw on Inferno, and in a way, even here on, uh, on Dust 2, which is often a very slow map, they, they, ju they just seem to be exploding out into sites. You know, a bit of misdirection here and there. Uh-oh, these USPs Again. doing a lot more damage than they should be allowed to get away with. Let's hope that that comes to a close. Two AKs taken out of the round. They end up with better weapons than FaZe do, unless Kirby has his say, and he will onto one. Again, yeah, there's just something about the aim of KRB, right? That little bit of shakiness, but then when you combine that with the MAC-10, it looks extra creepy. It works for him at the end of the day, right? It's, it's whatever you're used to. I don't know how it works for him. I don't know what's so comfortable about shaking, but uh, he's a pro and y'all aren't. So put some respect on his name. Hmm. Regardless, uh, two extremely close eco rounds for OG. Hearts. Go on. Well, you know, man, I know I just didn't see it coming, but look at this. Look at this, man. Oh, it's beautiful when everyone's moving around. The game is being played. It was we cool like and that. all, like just standing there for a bit and hanging out. But now we get to see what we came here to see, and that's FaZe Clan tying everything up at nine to nine. Mantu going to be donning that orb. What's he able to bring to the table with it? Alexi back inside of the A site and FaZe up through the catwalk. Yeah, they're dumping a bunch of utility here on Cat, just causing an absolute ruckus. But it doesn't matter. They're out mid again. I think they know that this has been successful for them. They found that room to run. Now, what's going to matter is this upper flank. And it comes in the form of K or B. He finds, well, at least the one kill that he needed to. Somehow this one's traded back and forth to the point that OG are up a man. And with the bomb planted, they're most certainly going to go for it. Difficult retake, though. Alexi's low. The benefit is all that util available. And Mantu has the cross back. Player in the tunnels, not going to be needed. Kiebi likely left in a clutch here, unless Cold can put up all three as he is alone. 
Yeah, he comes in from the tunnels. Molly in deep, two Molotovs. They find nothing, but that's at least info for OG. They know where to watch now. Flashing for Alexi, that clock is ticking. Mantu needs a quick shot, he's gonna get killed. In the back, Whoa. Yabby too. Actually, Cole helped him out with another. Uh, now Valde needs to get on that bomb. He has a kit and he might have to stick, but it's a tap and Kiebi's pretty much won the round from this point on. Valde did his best, but even if he stuck that bomb, Kiebi would be there in time. And so it's a round one for FaZe, a man down in the B, bo uh, B bomb site. Yeah, FaZe back on track. They want to close this one out in two. I'll just ask you guys, I'm going to poise the question out there. Pose it rather. Yeah. You know, how are we feeling about FaZe now that we, you know, we're seeing them across two maps? Looking good. Like, yeah, it, it's, it's, you know, whenever you remove an in-game leader and you have to completely change the structure of your team and whoever picks it up, even if it is someone like Cold who's not known for his in-game leading, right? It is like refreshing. It's a, it's a change and that can often be motivating. Plus in the fact that you've got a new, a fairly new player in Kirby and a new player or at least an old player in Olaf. So, yeah, there's a lot of changes to the identity of FaZe. And even not having Yanko behind them, while I think that that's not a good thing, right? You you want a coach, especially one of Yanko's tenure. But, yeah, it, it's it's just a change. It's something new for FaZe. And it's more motivation to succeed, especially huh. with the importance of this tournament for both teams here. Yeah, and look at this. Mid to be again for FaZe. See ya. No response. There will be no answer. Inside of this B site, MBK falls as the sole defender and the bomb's gonna get planted with five alive for FaZe. I am sorry, Internet Grandpa. FaZe are gonna go up to 11. Inching closer and closer. Now mind you, the winner of this series, if it is FaZe, they're gonna go on to play Vitality in the brackets. Perhaps we get a little bit of a see what Vitality have to offer. I will say, like, one of the things that would be really, really cool about FaZe picking this up, if they are able to keep this up, right? Say they 2-0 this series. Well, that's that's pretty huge. Not just because we saw them, right, like, just a matter of, what would be like, days ago, getting kind of banged out back at Blast, as we expected, right, with the changes that went on. But then, to turn it around, come into this versus OG, a team that at that same event did really well, right? You look at who they were able to take down, guys like EG, Na'Vi, on that list. So it's it's like they, they've been looking really good on the OG side. And then to top that off, you would have taken them down on like two great OG maps, right? Even the Inferno pick for FaZe seemed ballsy when you think about how good that map is to OG normally. And now here on Dust, looking to go two for two. Mantu with an AWP down through mid. Does see the players trying to move up through Cat and Easter's got a freebie there. That gets delivered to him cold, accidentally flashing rain out of the round. Lots of spam damage from Kirby and Brokey. That's going to thwart this mid-aggression from OG. However, FaZe are trapped. They haven't really gained any ground, and they've lost a man. Can't even get onto the catwalk because of that smoke throwing in from Alexa B. And so right now, they're just stuck down here in mid. Yeah, that idea of a mid to B again, well... We're gonna call an audible on that one, rightfully so. It's worked out for him too many times now. Ooh, dear. That was not the Molotov. Yeah, he hit his head on the curve on that jump throw, curve of the tunnel. And so it goes in on the left, that gives him a gap to go forward into the orb. Mantu with a pick and a five on three for OG. It's a good situation to be in. It's all about not giving FaZe away back in at this point. Ducking down, tucking into your bomb sites. The bomb is alone up on catwalk. Doesn't want to go first. Waiting for that long split. Valde tucked at the corner. No support, but Mantu can come back on a whim. Right now, got a lot to do on Catwalk. Broken flanked. Alexis got that bomb, and now they get cool, make the call. Watch long. Be ready, Valde, as the plays come through. Cold with a kill. Or is good, though, on the beat. Bait peak for Cold. And now Kierby just holding on. He jumps up as Mantu peaks. Unfortunate timing, but he gets some damage off. And OG, they take the round with four alive. A necessary round for OG to stay in this match. Pivot point. Like if there was a pivot point, this is it for OG. It's time to it's time to start rather than stop. Yeah, 
Armantu hitting the ground running with the AWP, right? That's a good sign, maybe, of things to come. Brokey going to be donning his again. Over on the T side. Now, him getting the AWP came with a lack of head armor here to allow utility around it. And with M4 still in play on the other side, maybe that comes back to punish him. It's only a little minor detail, but it could make all the difference. Back to mid once again, and this time OG aren't so proactive in taking these fights and denying the cat control, so they don't have this information this time around, and they don't have any kills for it either. Instead, we've got Mansu with the AWP holding it from Cat, and he does have support from Alexa B in CT if it's needed. And with how this is looking right now for FaZe, that might end up being the case, that they do need Alexa B here to help out. I'm going to double nade the Cat. Kirby absolutely shredded by that utility. Oh, and Cold was holding long all round, and now they flash a man in aggressively. Now, he would have heard that flash, but he still hasn't turned back to keep an eye on it. Valdi isn't going to go any further. He'll just hold this position. And FaZe might just have to all in the cat play here. With how they were set up early, they still had players outside of B, so falling back was an option, but that's no longer oh, the case. Boy. Mantu, that AWP Ooh. starting to come alive. Brokey, we need this response. We need the AWP on the other side to be able to best him in the head-to-head, -head, and he will. Alexa B still here in CT. Could deny this bomb plant. They get the info that he's there, but the info is one thing. The kills are another, and it's left onto Cold Zera. All alone, the peek from the car comes in. And it's a tie game once again as OG start to chain some rounds together now. Yeah, nice retake there for OG. Alexi, he doesn't flank in this round. It was uh, it was last round he came up the catwalk on that flank and killed the bomb on Cat. Uh, this time, Kiebi was waiting for it and lower, or at least towards the doors. So important that Alexi actually rejoined his team on that A site, drew enough attention away for Valdi to get a kill. And Mantu, of course, the talking point. Two openers again for OG. Eventually traded, but at least buys enough time for OG to pick up a round. And this one has gotten competitive once more. 11 all. No clear victor in sight. Phase broken for now. Should put OG back in the lead. Looking like a fast long for Rain. Not really a lot to play with. He's taking jewels of the P250. And they'll go about as well as expected. Oh, cold. <laughs> Gorse doing his thing. Just absolutely wrecked. <laughs> oh, dear. Valde. He looks too easy for Cold Zara, man. What's he going to be able to do? The Shadow will give Valder the advantage. And so that there is the freest kill Valder's going to get in quite some time. For the remaining three, it's a cat plate. And maybe that means feeding Mantu even more. But a few missed shots has gotten them in through cat. And Brokey's going to deeg Mantu out of the round. Valder is here, but the deagle of Brokey finds yet another. And so somehow these pistols have taken it from a three on four down to a 3v2 in the post plant. Brokey and his deagle, a bit of a menace now. Both players moving in through CT, and Brokey with the peak gives over a two-on-two. Two. Olaf spotted. They know Kirby's here as well. They're trying to get up through the trenches into the site they go. Oh dear. And MBK with a double there to lock it in. OG, they will find 12. They get that back under control, but it's a damn good job from Brokey and Cold Zera to make that look even remotely competitive. Yeah. These ecos have been terrifying for both teams in the second half, right? From OG uh, getting four kills in back-to-back -back rounds with pistols to start this half to right there and then. Almost the same story for FaZe, but almost doesn't cut it. A bomb plant allows a buy, and this has got to be the buy to keep the game going. OG up, only just. FaZe back in with the AWP on Brokey. Oh, that's a nice pick. Issa with a jump over the smoke. Gives just enough info to Brokey. Phaser grouped in B. They could have hit it hard, but they got smoked off at the tunnel by MBK. And so they'll call a pause for now. It might, poss uh, might end back up in that B bomb site as they know they killed one of the crossing players. That's who flashed out of middle, got a run, doesn't take a shot. Now FaZe know they've pushed the AWP into the B bomb site as well. I might be tempting enough to go elsewhere. Neck and neck. Oh, 
there's a bit of a standoff in the tunnels. Mantu looking to go in. Arloff is holding for it. Mantu missed shot, looking to land some damage on the back of the utility, and it will. Arloff tagged out and now leaving the tunnels. And also information gained for OG. They saw one player in those tunnels, and so they are expecting this cap play. The utility has been huge for OG, doing a lot of damage onto these players, Ooh. softening them up for this push. Valder drawing them in with the promise of an a site play. Cold Zera dealt with on the long wrap, and Alexi has been hidden here all damn round. No one. Oh, oh. Olaf will check it. He gets away with it too. Mantu left wow. all alone in a 1v3. And Olaf there, the saving grace in that round. OG doing a great job of whittling down the offensive. And Olaf clearing out Alexi up on the uh, up on the boost box. <laughs> boost box? What am I on about? Drop down. There you go. That sounded cool. Luke. Yeah. It was just all about the alliteration. That's why I'm here. 12 to 12, though. FaZe tie this game up once again. And it remains as competitive as ever in this second half of play. Yeah, dude, Cold's looked so good in this game, right? And we you know, we didn't see so much of that on the first map. He showed up when he needed to, but uh, nothing too special. Right now, he's getting so many opening kills. Looking really, really good. And more of that for FaZe. 12 all. And the orb did get saved by Kiermi. Double for OG alongside the pistol of MBK. So it's quite a mixed bag right now. B play with a weak weaponry to playing tucked in. And obviously Issa supporting with the orb. It is conceded by OG. FaZe have a lot of room to work with, but will that bait them into a B play with a triple setup? Even if it does, I still fancy FaZe, FaZe's odds it's just down to Issa with the AWP. He's the only man with real weaponry to work with. And that's a good start, but he's traded immediately. No time to back out. Two players left in B. MBK spotted and dealt with as well with a blind spray. Alexi B goes through the door with a flash and finds a double as well. But he's been trapped in the window on either side. He darts out to safety to join his team. And that could be huge here in a retake with OG a man up. But FaZe have won this exact round before and they're looking to do it again. Oh, Olaf gonna try and run on by, and there's the lineup. Oh. Olaf Meister with the triple, taking the lead for phase 13 on the board now. And it might have felt like for a little while that these buys just kept coming through for OG, whatever was coming their way. And finally, that little bit of residual cash gonna draw out to a close. They've got nothing left up against 13. Likely staring down the barrel of an eco here. And that's scary. That could be a 14th round on the board, nearly for free for FaZe. And it's a five-man long push. Alexi with the flash to try and make it happen. Cold leaving the bomb outside of long doors. And he's really the only guy, other than Brokey, who can retrieve that easily. Brokey didn't see anyone cross mid, but OG did smoke it, just to give that illusion that they could have sent players this way. There's always a chance that this gets out of hand. They still haven't seen too many bodies at the A site. Rain with a tap, but there's the flash, and it's a damn good flash at that. Rain now fighting for his life. Overwhelming odds, but he is tapping them down, and that's it. The pistol's laid to rest. FaZe get it back under control. They dodge what was looking a little bit scary, and they put 14 on the board. Yeah, for those pistols to have caused so much damage up to this point, you kind of thought, okay, maybe OG can do it again. Maybe they can... Tie it up, but yeah, that 14-12, that's the score line we have. FaZe want to close this out in two. Rain loves eco kills. I mean, you can't blame the man. He's so good at tapping. And Brokey at least comes in for support. Cold on a lot of these late long lurks. He was holding a very sweaty angle towards the car and just comes down to clean up in middle. 14-12. to 12. This could be FaZe 2-0-ing right now with a new roster. Fast out long. Kiebi going to look to the corner. Not going to check it, though. And Alexi B's there. Valdi spammed on through the smoke, and that drew Kiebi in. Um, is still left back in the doors. Cold is out and about. This is not a great position to be in right now. They could molly you into oblivion. Luckily, no utility on these two long players left, as most of it went in early. And OG doing what they need to do in a round like this. Just tucking in, not giving away anything. Playing two inside of B conceding middle which gives room for phase but 
A bomb is still always going to be the bigger worry at the end of the round. Oh dear, bad timing for Broke. He throws a smoke and gets caught by the peak. About to going back in for more. Cold's dead at long, and that might just be the round. It's Olaf in a one on five, and this bomb can be found in an instant if that push comes through. Flick won't connect, and OG, a flawless round out of nowhere. Again, a necessity. This game is so damn close. FaZe are not out of the woods yet. Their money is only just there for another buy. If OG win this, they might just be able to push it over the line and take us to Mirage as a third. Easier said than done. FaZe have one more buy to give it their all. And if there was ever a round, if you're a FaZe fan, that you didn't want OG to keep clean, it's that one. Right, because now all that all that pressure that you just spoke about in regards to having you know like one final buy, that's only a threat that really is is, is posed to you in this situation, and so FaZe are hinging on picking this up. Otherwise, at the last kind of few rounds, OG could springboard themselves up into the lead and reach 15 first. Cat control contested here by FaZe. Mantu on the drop down, but he gets out of there right away, getting flashed off the angle. These cat nades have always been so good. It feels like every time they come in, someone is almost dead. And there they are, Olaf, 10 HP. He fits the bill perfectly. Do they double back? Oh, Olaf solo, he ducks under the smoke. And they went up cat, he'd be dead, but avoided by cold who climbs. Only lower might give away exactly what FaZe is doing at this point, but OG setting up with a flash for the mid pop. Not really going to help at this point, only going to get them info as to where FaZe are not. Mantu with the knowledge, and he backs out along, giving them the A site for a retake. Alexi B wants to hold on, though. He could do so much here. They're not even considering it. Rain is above the smoke. Alexi with a free kill. Brokey trying to trade. Does get a tag, but very little damage. It's Kiebi off Catwalk that cleans that one up. And the late lurk for Olaf. He's been waiting here so long. He's going to come in with a backstab. He could save this round in the post part. Oh, it's a mess, but he gets it done. Second player trades. The retake is still happening. Found it, picking up a pillar. A player, but he's now all that stands and Brokey has been so quick on this cross. He's going to hit this shot, not falling for the bait peak and FaZe find 15 first. Oh boy, <laughs> FaZe, they could be about to do it. And at moments like this, I like to think back to round one of Inferno, where uh, Trace, you really rubbed in me going <laughs> for the FaZe pick here yep. after OG won the pistol. And now... True. FaZe one away from getting this locked in. And it's like we all said, FaZe Clan have what it takes to jump yeah, back into this, into this game. I mean, there was never, you know, a doubt in my mind up to this point that there's a chance for FaZe to win the game. It's fine. Harry had to get a prediction right this event. And all at least right. now Congratulations, Harry. Right. Woo! Right, okay. Yeah. Bottom well, prediction of the last oh, two Harry. tournaments. Oh, Ooh, no. it's not it done might yet, not even though. come true, right? That's done. the scary part. Mansu opening this up. Rain removed early. And FaZe now are trying to close this out, a man down. Four on five as Kierby gets up through the catwalk. Rest of his team left behind down here in middle. Olaf's backed up for this molly this time. That's good. But still not. Because he's not throwing it. Not needed. FaZe are up cat with no issue. Cold still waiting on these late long lurks, but OG got punished by Olaf doing it that last round anyway. So this is a very difficult round for FaZe. OG know exactly what's going on. Valde trying to hold the site, doesn't want to give away this kill. It's Mantu finding the first and traded onto Valde, but Alexi hey. is also on the ramp. The double setup for OG nets them a four on two and FaZe are in hot water. Yeah, so close they can taste it, yet so far. As they try to backtrack, it's going to be Issa hanging out in lower. <gasps> No, that's Ooh. creepy. That was creepy, let's yeah. be honest. Happy that's, Halloween. That's cursed, man. That's a cursed little video right there. Issa removed in the tunnels, and that's now opened up a potential a B play. MBK is the only man left standing in B, but they've got nades out, and they run to their death. Cole left in the clutch. Yeah. Ten seconds to try and get past these CT players, and he will. Bomb now down. Cold Zera needs the 30 bomb at least Ooh. if he wants to win this game for FaZe. 
Bomb ticking away. Flash goes in. Cold dodges it. Both players in through the doors. Cold zero Whoa. with one. And Alexi so just close. able to hold on. 14 for OG. Overtime on the cards. And a bomb plant there from Cold Zero at the very, very least. Locks in that extra money for FaZe, which is going to prove to be key here. Issues right now. He's having a great game. 30 frags. Let's see if he can lift them through it. Not going for the B rush. FaZe taking things a lot more safe. Yeah, but he's going to go through long with the flashes. Very quick and good damage done. But there's a player at the corner again who does put him down. It's Valdi. Olaf's going at a solo B play. MBK's tucked in the corner. That should be free for him. But Brookie with a jump shot in mid takes down Mantu. This is on a tons flank. How's he gotten here? And now he's behind enemy lines. Brokey gone. Rain trades. But that only baits him into what could be a B play. And OG are already scrambling to rotate. Pushing out on long is Valdi. Running right down middle. And he could catch them moving out of tons. He's heard the weapon drop as well. Two players here, and the kill is in for Valder. Oh. It's left in a two-on-two. -two. And at this point, FaZe are reconsidering going B at all. That flank from Long signals that there might be more to this B site than meets the eye. And they don't want to go rotating in just yet. They slow it right down now. Alexi, very, very low, and he's the rifled player in this one. It is just silence across the map. Neither team wants to be the first to make the wrong move. The game is well and truly afoot. It's Cold Zera and Rain. Cold with 30 kills to his name. Alexi oh. close to the doors, trying to secure overtime. They look to go and throw this mid to be smoke in, but in through the catwalk. And that's info that Alexi is going to have. Even though he doesn't hear anything, he doesn't see anything either. And so oh. he is hot on their heels, flanking. Now he hears the footsteps. He knows that it's A. MBK's rotating in. Alexi, fast onto Cat, has dealt with cold, leaving this all on rain. Now that nade could spell the demise of Alexa B, and in fact, it should. Doesn't know. <laughs> Alexi dodges it, and Rain left in the clutch. If there ever was a time, it's got to be now. There's the peak, but dinked by MBK at the first hurdle. And now getting pincered in through Cat as well. Both players in CT rather than Rain. Oh, Whoa. so damn close. But OG, they lock in overtime. They get 15. Wow. And we run that clock back again. We look to make it all happen in overtime. Do we head to Mirage, that third map? Or is FaZe going to be right here? FaZe Clan having picked up that first map. Want to close it out in two. Mirage if we don't. Whoa, Brokey. Opening tag onto MBK, the B anchor here. This is still orping as a secondary, and Mantu's pushed up on the catwalk for a first. Kill will go the way of OG. And they don't even know about Issa either. Kevy with the door smoke. Brokey comes down mid as well. Issa's still got a bit of a gap underneath it, though. Usually, players will jump up onto the Xbox, so shouldn't be a problem. OG, though, they got to deal with this mid play. Brokey's going to pop Kierby through. Alexi B is here, blinded out, not going to shoot the, the balls, man. That is a scary one. But doesn't want to give away his position, get spammed, get cleared. Valdi pushing long, but we know Cold's been there almost every round of this T side. So he doesn't want to give it up. Man advantage for OG. Again, just tucking into that B bomb site. And Alexi B, who's been great at either locking down mid to Bs or coming in on cat flanks, might be needed once again. Valdi kills the long lurker, and he could even go through the smoke. I think he knows that as well, but might not want to make the move in a five on three like this. Pressure's on phase right now. Where will they go? Valdi through the smoke and in the back. Yeah, this should end the round right here. Yeah. Right, Valdet pincering in, lays it all to rest. And OG. They take the first in overtime, 16 to 15 now. 19, of course, is the magic number that we are looking for. You can tell by just that play alone from Valdi that OG, you know, they know what's going on. They know how FaZe are playing things. It's pretty clear when FaZe are hitting B and, uh, and Alexi's got all that info mid. Valdi's had to deal with cold so many times. If FaZe haven't rushed long off of spawn with Kierby, they've often not gone there at all until the post plants. And so it's one of those long rushes. Three players here, OG with the right numbers. And oh, great grenade. Valdi obliterating cold. He knows Rain's gotten through as well. They're tucked in the smoke. They're touching each other. But Brokey takes down Alexi for him. Valdi's still here to deal with. But they flash him out and Mantu covers. Valdi out of ammo, eventually dead. And Mantu's still up on the car. They want to avoid him for now. FaZe have actually come out pretty well in that engagement considering OG had a triple long setup
That's such a terrible feeling when you run out of ammo like that. Just hopeless. And three on three now. Our oh, molly won't matter. And so this is where, you know, I hope that Kirby still being outside of this B site is a sign of things to come for FaZe, right? There's a timing in which he could get into B with very little resistance. MBK is here, admittedly, but he's having a pivot between B and mid, and that could be a bit of a vulnerability for OG. Kirby's going. Yeah, but he is creeping in. And even if he gets a kill, right, that's going to throw this entire CT setup into disarray. There it is, Kirby with the one tap. And he's uh, well tag him in response. The B site now locked down, but these rotations are already coming in. And Kirby has got to hold out for a very long time. Mantu's even holding the cross, but he falls as he takes the shot. That's not the danger dealt with entirely, though. He's now down here in the tunnels. And with 20 seconds left, you don't have time for a prolonged gunfight here. You've got to run by. You've You've got places to be and it is that b site so thankfully mantu's missed another and that lets them get across isa is here at the double doors and one final chance to deny this bomb getting by but he's not able to do it olaf gets that bomb down mantu moving in and brokey holds the line phase on to 16 as they tie this up once again great moves by phase but it just comes down to missed shots right that's all of it at the end of the day mantu he was given two perfect opportunities to shut down that round and uh, both times just falling a little short Issa does a lot of damage but again damage does nothing when you don't get the kill and phase they bounce right back they respond they take 16 and now the autos are out for the last round of the half better late than never might as well nothing to lose Everything to gain. It's going to mean you're a little late out of spawn, but no damage done anyway. Oh. oh. Rocking a hard place for Brokey. Gets a pinch between a Molotov and this is in four. And this is in four comes out the greater. Okay. Now we saw a lot of mid to B's work there for FaZe on their T side. Will they go back to that? Pop oh. flashing along. KRB is going to eliminate Valde as a threat. And really, long range engagements here. Yeah, the orbs still being spawned as well. Cold tags, Alexi going back to A, and Range is going to peek off the back of it, taking him down with a tap. They know this is in B. He found the opening kill of the round. And oh boy, has it fallen apart since that point. Bomb is looking at B right now, but Cold's going to double back all of his teams on the A site. And this, uh, even if he comes in on a rotate, it's all going to be too little too late. It's down to Mantu again, a pivotal position, a far harder one than the last round, as he has four players coming from two positions. Oh, he legs him too. Mantu holds on to what he's got here in Goose. But then an op comes ringing back in the form of Cold Zera. We've just Issa in a one on three. Now, two players oh. very low. He's going to find the first one in Olaf. Rain, the other player that's low. Two on one. I like this so far. So going all the way around. They're going to consider it after a few seconds, though. And Cold's already here, already posted, but also very wide. Oh, it doesn't matter, man. He's got it all locked in. And FaZe, they finished that first half of overtime with a narrow lead, 17 to 16. But if you remember, it was this CT side that was the weaker of the two yeah. for FaZe. But having all the money, having having the double up as well on this team is always scary, right? It was so often Nico orping uh, on this map for phase over Brokey. And so now not only do we have Brokey on the main orp here, but we also have Cole joining him as a secondary. So that's kind of cool as well. You saw what Cole could do on the T side AWP just then. And obviously he's having an excellent game individually. So yeah, it's not a, not all hope lost for FaZe yet. OG is still in this though, looking for the clean half. If they want to take this here and now and bring us to Mirage, their mid to Bs were even better than FaZe's, finding a lot more success there. And FaZe, they never really offered up any aggression. While we had it for OG in the form of Alexia flanking Cat, Valde pushing long, FaZe never played aggro on CT side. Other than Cat boosting and taking like spawn picks, they would often just fall back into, into safe setups. And this is another example of that. One in middle on the boost spot and one in B. A risky setup considering how regulation went. But FaZe have already got a bit of information. They've heard the mid pop. They've seen a player in tons. But it's actually up cat where OG go. And Garibee's going to back away. Ooh. A ton of damage being eaten there by Mantu and MBK. 40 seconds on the clock. So OG... 
are grouped up on Cat. They want to go up Catwalk. When it's OT like this, another smoke comes ringing in with 30 seconds left. I mean, what are you to do? Something that's a little bit scary here is that you don't really have any other options if you're OG apart from to hit this A site, right? With 20 seconds left, you've got to go. And there's three players here, but Rain is also down in CT. He can rotate up very, very quickly. Kirby oh. gets one, and that might be enough. They get a man into CT, but that's where Rain comes into play. And Brokey is yet to be spotted in this site. Oh. That there is the bomb dropped, and with it, the round snatched away from OG. They're having to save in overtime, and this isn't some big 200 IQ decision. This is what it was forced for them to do. They lose that bomb, and with it, they lose the round. And that there is one of the dangers, right? When you don't have these contingency plans, when you don't have something to go to if everything fails, then, you know, you, you get forced into that A play. And what that means is, is like, even if you figure out, well, they're all here, you, you know, you've got no choice. You've got no time to go anywhere else. You've got no other options available. And so with that phase up to 18, OG bringing autos out themselves here, trying to deny this mid cross. No damage found, however. Yeah, and the big risk was phase of solo B in that first round of the CT side, right? OG could have just split them. Rain was on the CT side of middle, so it would have been easy for OG to crunch that B bomb site, but now phase actually have numbers there. They win one round, they only have to find one more for this series to be done. And that would be quite the feat, quite the win. Series has often been competitive, even if, you know, it is uh, a clean sweep like that final for phase. There were competitive maps in there, and this is certainly one of them, but it might come up all in favor of FaZe Clan again. OG going up Catwalk once more. No one here to stop it. Brokey was really good on the car in the first half, and that's where he'll need to be once again. And again, a cat play right here in contest for OG. Gonna do the utility dump. Rain trying to get ahead of it. He is just blinded <laughs> and eventually eliminated. And BK jumped the smoke, so we actually saw him crossing into that position. Flash certainly helps as well. Brokey, there's a shot. Looking for one more before he backs out of it. There it is. Beautiful stuff for Brokey. A third would mean Mantu's ready, and a player's crossed past him. He doesn't know. Alexi B gets that kill, which allows for the bomb plant, and now a retake for the series here for FaZe. Issa's position could prove to be very, very valuable, though no one's even considering it, and Sakierbi walks to his demise. He's uh, flashing himself back in for the repeat, but Olaf out through long does get the better of him. They at least now know about Olaf's long position, something that might have been discounted otherwise. And so that there is at least something for EG to work with as they try and long this out to another overtime. Olaf closing the distance, Mantu fixated on him and cold out through CT. Not much of a chance in this round. He's got to move fast and time is up for Ooh, Cold Terra. 17 on the board. And now one away from a second overtime. Okay. Yeah, it's very, very, very possible. You're seeing a little bit of steam right here rising off of OG. Yeah, these are getting to be some pretty tight rounds too. Yeah, and that was again like opening kills for FaZe. Brokey shutting it down with the AWP. OG get it done in the post plant. Very close stuff. How are FaZe going to react towards B now as they lent into it in the previous round? And they might need to do so again. Two there, OG sent three in the tunnels early, long flashes. But what info will FaZe get from that? Because no, no one's committed behind it. Olaf spammed the corner smoke, but he's still going to back up. FaZe don't know if anyone's out long, and they've just got to guess. That's going to leave only one player at B as Cold meanders over towards middle. And the longer the time goes on, the more FaZe think long is clear, and they're even going to try and flash Olaf back into it to, to figure that one out for good. That should allow Cold to back up into the B-bomb site. He's going to be needed. Mid to B-smoke is out, and four players crunching from upper tunnels just get smoked off. Bad timing for OG as FaZe get more and more information on this A-site. Yeah, that smoke is crucial right there. Buys a little bit more time for FaZe. Potentially, they can sniff out what this B-hit looks like. Lurk smoke coming out from OG. No one even bats an eye at it from the FaZe Clan side. FaZe have just taken long as well. Now they know. Yeah, there we go. Pair B with an AUG. Deeply entrenched. Valdi's going to eliminate him, and the crossover into the B site is going to start Ooh. to happen. Coldzera trying to make a play, trying to keep this one honest. Yeah, dangerous game, but I respect that for Cold, right? If you get two there, you maybe you maybe set FaZe up for the round win. Now it's oh, slipping through their fingers. Double overtime looming. Antu gets mollied out, but they respond with one of their own. And oh, Brokey hits the shot. Okay. 
There's still a chance after all. Yeah, they got flashes on Olaf and Rain. Rain's going to try and set them up to get them in with this flash. Olaf needing the car, but this time MBK is not there. There's the flash, but Rain doesn't get in on the back of it. And uh -oh. piece by piece, it's fallen apart. Brokey left off alone, and Valdet puts him in the grave. We're heading to a double overtime affair. 18 oh, okay. all as we run this back one more time. Yeah, and potentially even more times after that. And maybe even a third map, who knows? OG are fighting tooth and nail to get there, to get to Mirage. This is their pick in the series, and it is going the distance, and then some. It's our opening game in Beijing, at least for us, so I like what we get. Take it. Yeah. FaZe can put a stop here. They're going to meet up with Vitality in the brackets. They've got to get through OG first. From one Frenchman to many, many more. Fast out long for OG. Not taking that spawn play, but they do come out with no one here for FaZe, who have aggro cat on Brokey. And already looking at aggressing mid, Rain's going to go for it. Alexi's holding from the spawn side, though. This is a nice off position that Rain might not expect. Mantu's posted in the pit, but FaZe don't want to give away any picks there. They're actually going to smoke out to look like they could swing to scare OG off. It's not going to do much apart from make OG stop in their tracks. At this point, FaZe know it's a long take. It's all on Rain's timing. With OG not moving up, neither will Rain. He doesn't want to be the guy giving away this opening kill in the first few seconds. He'd rather wait. Alexi B did this before in regulation, but Rain is here to deal with it. Oh, does he hear the first steps? And then he goes out. Rain swings and clears. And now he knows that Xbox smoke that did miss, by the way, is all a ruse. It's down to the long take, and FaZe are all here. Yeah, Rain with a really smart play there. He just hangs tight. And that's going to be plenty for FaZe to work with on their hold. It says crossed over. Molotov on the ramp. Oh. Almost a double there for Cold Zero. <laughs> they lined up for him. Valde finds him amidst the oh, fight like and frenzy. But a double stack over here on Quad. Now Olaf tucked in tight. They're going to let Rain fight it off. But you know what? Olaf, you might not even be necessary at this point. It's just man to it long. Four on one, and he's going to get eradicated as well. 19-18, that elusive round for FaZe Clan. Well, they find it. Just an OT number two. Yeah, they can save that double Gandalf for later, I guess. And uh, yeah, that's beautiful from Rain, right? If he goes aggro there, he goes early. Uh, despite his great position, it would have been Alexi B's kill likely. And then OG can make the decision, okay, do we want to walk into this A stack like late in the round or do we want to double back through spawn to B? Very common. But uh, no, Rain wins that fight out. All the info's there for phase. They can spam the smoke. Talking of which, man two. Finding cold to start. That's a good pick. Look at the three going towards tunnels for OG. They oh might boy. just run right in. Brokey is here with the AWP at least to try and get it back under control. But MBK has already crossed into the site and that bomb is moving in as well. Valder with a late lurk in through catwalk to try and slip the knife in the back of phase. Rain Eight. gets ahead of it, just runs through the smokes oh and the my. rest of the team are coming in to join him. Now they don't know about MBK who will get away with one. He tries to clear out Rain as well and he will. That is a that is a round oh, saving God. play from MBK. Kirby left all alone, but he's on a wrap of his own in through the tunnels, oh. looking to make this B site home. Flash goes in, MBK out. And now Valde and Mansu left up alive. OG in a two on one. They get the bomb, they've got Cut the B it. site. And they know that this tunnel's wrap is coming in. Manti remembers someone has to plant. And that's going to be him. He'll grab that bomb. Kirby in through mid now. They right. definitely heard him run back. Oh, yeah, they get the info right now. They definitely know, right? If the footsteps weren't enough, there it is. There's the confirmation. Kirby smoking in for the push. But up against Mantu and Valda, that is quite the terrifying twosome to be up against. Kirby with the opener. Now just Mantu left to beat. Time. Looking to escape him here. Kirby moving in. Back of the site. Oh, oh. Kirby oh. with the triple. 1v3 to close that round out for FaZe. Defuse comes in and he puts 20 on the board. OG, they are going to be kicking themselves. Kirby with a stellar clutch. That was so good. But the funniest part about that is it could have been even easier for Kirby. On the tunnel's flank, no one was considering it. He may have got that one free kill there, but he had two offered up, both with their back turned but he flashed himself in could have been a, a free double but nonetheless not even a problem not an issue phase keep it going and that is a hell of a round to lose after mbk puts up such a stellar defense again cold uh, killed on the cross same as last round mantu through the smoke that is just so great how has he done that back-to-back -back rounds you killed the best player at least off the scoreboard right now for phase 
cold is gone again. But OG won't rush B off the back of it. They're going to go for the late B, though. They were rushing long off for spawn, and now they double back. There is no one here for FaZe Clan. The timing could be so good for OG. As long as his long fake can get sold, there's a smoke going out. Mantu has another for the cross. That first one will miss a little bit, leaving a big gap. But Mantu will patch it up. And at this point, FaZe have no info towards that B bomb site. They're still scared of these long smokes. And look at Valde just creeping on over. Oh, Rain. It's going to be a 4 on 1 here. Rain's about to catch him right in the act, though. Here we go. Peeks from lower, has a shot on MBK, takes him two bursts, but he gets it. And now that's some information. Roki aligning for the shots. He's going to go ahead and take a fight inside of the site. Rain going to continue to aggress, wow. and he's doing everything that he has to do. He gets the job done inside of the tunnels. Now just Issa and Mantu. Issa already inside of the site, Mantu in top of middle. Oh, off a little, a little ambitious of a, a run there. Ooh. Ah! Yeah, my God, the run. Off shots on me. <laughs> oh, he jumped. He jumped. <laughs> well, he's still got the bomb down at least during all that, right? While they're hunting Mantu <laughs> out of the round, but now he's got to find a one v three of his own. Up in the window, trying to take the fight early. And there's Issa with the opener. Broke, he was tagged earlier by Mantu. And they've got no utility outside of the Molotov. Oh. Issa with the flick. And another man in the doors. He need all four. And he just might get it. Already slipping in his reign. But wow. Issa delivering 19 at the end of the first half of OT. And man, no Issa, he's like a... He's like a mirror, man. He really is. You know, back on Inferno, he aced in the round following Brokey's, right? Responded with one of his own to try and save the day for OG, if you remember. Just then, a 1v3 to put that round on the board for OG. Moments after, Kirby 1v3'd them in the round prior. That is absolutely unreal. Maybe it gives OG a fighting chance here. And after Rain, the absolute king goes back in through lower with no info. He looked like he wanted to flank longer again and OG had already set up inside of B he sets his team up for that round and still gets stolen away by Issa this is a great game right now phase with autos in the first round of OT I was gonna say because it looked like a phase round that they were about to clean sweep CT side they were about to go 3-0 up on the half that has been difficult for them this should have been their game coming right into the T half but now they've got to fight just that little bit more just that one extra round they need two out of the next three Mantu dropping a, res a response Molotov there. And for OG, yeah. this is it. Mantu holding on. 30. Keeps netting himself some kills, and they're going to have to put a smoke down and put a stop to the aggression here from FaZe. Five on four still. Oh, boy. On a knife's edge right now. Alexi's re-aggressing cat side. Does he want to hang around in the smoke? He's been punished for that before. He's going to throw a molly down. Stalling phase out. Lots of util coming in, though. Oh, more damage. There's another nade and the spray. Oh, Alexi and Valde combined for all the kills. And Brokey's trapped on four health. He's gone as well. It's all on cold late to the party. And OG, they're going to blow him out of the round. Issa gets him from mid, and that's 20 all. Oh, boy. I have no idea where this game is going. Down to the wire, that's for sure. Yeah. So what's the answer going to be for FaZe? Now, like we were saying, like we saw, mid to B is working pretty well for them there in, the, in their T side in regulation. Will they revert back to it? You bottle up on catwalk. Default for FaZe. Back to what worked in the second half all that time ago. Ugh. Mantu gets tagged up Cat to a nade. We'll have one of his own right back down, but nothing too significant. Hold, holding long. That hit battle between him and Valde has been so interesting all half long. That's a great nade from mid. Even more damage the way of phase. And, oh, it's just wave after wave of utility. No angle is safe. No person is safe. Run boost up on Cat's side. And two, flicking back in. 
Rain only showing his head, but that might be enough for Mantu to make him dead. The smoke's on the Molotov, and Alexei jumps up to take Kirby out of the action. Valde finding Rain as well. There's a late long lug, but it needs to be earlier. It needs to be quicker as everyone is falling. Mantu finds that kill, and now it's all on Olaf. One on five, low HP, bomb at his feet, but not much hope. He says there to lock it in, and it's OG. Okay. Now, <laughs> one away from getting this locked in. Yeah, and it's like we, we said in the pregame, we said in the matchup, uh, you know, in the description, it even says it right there as you click the link that picking OG right here might have been <laughs> the play. Now, I regret nothing more than restarting this prediction battle <laughs> when phase were 15, 13 up, of course. Oh, it's not done yet, yeah. boys. Are we going to get another OT? OT? I hope yeah, we do, yeah. man. I hope this is the game that never ends. It's a war of attrition right now. Who can last the longest on Dust 2? Ooh. Right now, OG are making a damn good case. They've lent heavily into a B play in this round on the OG side. They've got two here, and they did have Alexa B complementing this B hole with a bit of mid support, but he's since backed away. So the early read that this could have been beat, OG now deciding against it, going back into this more standard setup. Think back to that four on one on the CT side, the phase bottle against Isla. This could have at least been the guarantee of a third overtime. Instead, they're looking at a likely, not a likely, but a possible loss in the second map. This was theirs for the taking. This was a shoe in not anymore, no longer as OG sit just five kills away from Mirage. Look at FaZe just bleeding out the utility here. Double nades on Catwalk, there's no one home. Missed opportunity. And he's gonna dump a smoke off here on the Catwalk side. Ooh. Land on the rail. Now, what is FaZe gonna do? We're gonna see a mid to B here. Looks like it, rain out quick. No mid to be smokes down. It would have been just an early warning system. Issa pops a flash over, tries to back away. Rain having gone oh. in first, and now the spray from Issa. Everything oh, no. that you could have asked for there. K or B and Cold Zera left to their own device, and it well, would have been a one on wow. three. Now it's just gone the way of OG. Ladies and gentlemen, they pick up the map. We go to Mirage. If you picked OG, you're probably feeling pretty damn good right now.